Good morning. We are packing up. We are checking out our Viera. He's watching Mamma Mia. Um, sad day, but we still have two weeks. We're exactly halfway through our time here in Florida. And we are starting the day off and this Saturday at Epcot. I truly have fallen in love, like a very deep love and appreciation for this resort, this trip. Points chart's a little steep for my DVC members, but I, there's just something about it to me. It just like makes it worth it. All right, we are basically all packed up. We're gonna watch the ABD video one more time. We have our bugaboo ready for the day. We got monsters in there we're gonna grab. But we are born adventurers. And there's one thing. And then we're gonna hit the world showcase. Yay! One. <laughs> two. You ready? Got your monster? We're all packed up. This is one of our favorite studios. And it's definitely one of my favorite resorts. But we are out of here. We actually, it's 9.30. And Epcot doesn't open until 11, but we, I think we're gonna head up the Skyliner and either see if they'll let us in the showcase earlier. Which I think they do. Or if not, we'll just hang out at Crescent Link. Maybe grab some food there. Boardwalk Bakery, maybe? Oh, Sarah. Oh! Peter's running that to the car, but I just wanted to show you guys how close our room was to the lobby and how nice the location was. So from here, it was just the third door on the left. So it was 8287. So if you're ever interested in that room and you're gonna be staying here, if you wanna request it, it was so nice to just have James in the stroller, lobby, Elevators right here, room right there. It was a great location by accident, and I think it made our trip like all that much more enjoyable. Things are a little different. I mean, I guess we just probably haven't rope dropped a park in a long time. And we realized that I've kind of felt a little love it. They let us in like 10, 15, but we're still like, there's, um, what are those things called? Stanchions. Stanchions blocking us from the rest of the world showcase. Very, very breezy. I'm sorry if it's windy. Yeah, but just so you know, like right now, we're gonna go to Crystal Lane. <laughs> but now we were just like, oh, I'll just hang out here. But we probably could have gotten breakfast. Sarah's getting hungry. You wanna know what? I just want, I'm not even that hungry. I just wanna eat. Am I eating? No, I'm eating because I'm on vacation. Hey, yo! Looks like we're being let in 10 30. Are you sure? I think those are cast for running Oh, wait, no, she's moving the whole thing. Yeah! I just don't know if the French bakery is open. The fountain is not even on yet. I don't know how cool the tile work is in the bottom. Oh yeah. We think that the gift shop still isn't gonna open. Not gift shop. <laughs> bakery. Uh, bakery isn't gonna open until 11. But we're gonna go back there and see. Maybe they'll open it. Maybe. We just really want Maybe. some breakfast. Maybe. I'm hungry. Maybe. Okay, 11 was true. That was irrational? That was not irrational. I just haven't 
to be standing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're standing on this curb, just like waiting, like neighborhood kids waiting for the bakery to open up. And Sarah takes a swig of her monster and spews it all over the ground and falls into this bush. There's a bee on there. Apparently, a bee crawled into her monster and she went to go take a it sip of it. It was in my mouth. It was it in? Hit, it hit my throat. Ew, you almost was... ate a bee? I thought that there was a chunk of something in my monster. Like, you heard those nasty stories. I know, but we had that before where there was oh, the giant. We didn't see that in real life. No, we had, I had a monster once that had like a giant, like, calcium chunk in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that you hear like worse stories of there well, being like fingers like, and mice. stuff. Yeah. Like well, in your monster can. There's a bee on the ground right there because that was in Sarah's. <laughs> it was almost, it was here. What if you swallowed it? <laughs> a live oh bee. Oh my gosh, that was revolting. <laughs> well, now you need breakfast. <laughs> Peter thought I was like, like are you okay? <laughs> like no. Rope drop. This is the shortest line we've ever been in. No. We actually were the first people here today. Yeah. You want a Coke? No. They are heating up our sandwiches for us, and we are going to be able to choose whatever table we want. This never happens. I mean, obviously, it's because they just opened the doors, but we're going to take advantage of the air conditioning and pick whatever table we want. Oh my goodness. This is a turkey. BLT situation, a croissant sandwich with eggs and something else on it, and a chocolate croissant. Of course, we had to get a baguette, coffee, and water. Princess Aurora. I don't think I've ever seen the princess flip her hair, and Aurora just looked at her. Did you see that? <laughs> I She's did. Like... Wow. He's awake. What do you rate this fountain? So, in Restaurant Marrakesh, there's just seating, and I've never been inside, so I'm gonna go. I just, oh my gosh, just sit in here? I feel like this definitely wasn't always so, but it is very nice. And I know the park did just open, but there's not a lot of people here. Maybe it's because we came in through World Showcase? I mean, uh. The Rye. International Gateway? Yeah. Right, like I do see a fair amount of people over there by Norway and by the front of the lagoon. So maybe it's less, because it is the weekend, it's Saturday. Our goal for today is to see the Voice of the Liberty. Yes, which is in like 30 minutes, I think. And we get to see Evie later. But it is, it's actually not bad. There's a nice and breeze. Check into our Airbnb. And check into our Airbnb. Do you like this fountain? Pretty nice, pretty nice. He's a pretty chill baby when he wakes up sometimes. Like, he takes a while to wake up. America, America, the land of the free. During the war, one British general was overheard saying, I hope I never hear that song again. But he did. At Yorktown, when the British Army surrendered to General George Washington. Yankee Doodle, keep it up. Yankee Doodle, dandy. Mind the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Yankee Doodle went to London just to ride a pony. Suck a feather in his hat and brought it by road. Dancing it out at World Showcase. Oh, you get shot when I pull the camera out, Jamesy? Dance it, dance it, dance it out. Uh oh. Snow White is out hanging out by her wishing well. Alright, we're walking on over to Norway because it said it was a 20 minute wait for Frozen. But we saw Snow White just now, and it was such a good interaction. I forgot to vlog, but because I was just like in awe of Snow White interacting with James. 
She called him a chipmunk. Yes. Talked about forest friends. Yes. And he loved it. He was like smirking and hanging out every word. And then when we left, he was like, could not keep his eyes yeah. off of her. 30 minutes, which is not bad at all for Frozen. Is it so beautiful in here? The sweaters. <laughs> nope. You like that guy? That's a big dude. Look at his crazy hair. Should we go to the DVC lounge? Yeah. Boys? They make up friends in the DVC lounge. <laughs> I didn't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> you so happy with the full tummy? Oh, you're drooling. Just Ran outside to put the rain cover on this time before it started raining. So it should be good. Peter's right. tired. <laughs> <laughs> Your time machine vehicle are moving at full speed. Like a brand new miraculous space. And for a brief moment, we have been among its passengers. But where are we going? And what kind of future will we discover? One time we saw a garbage can on fire right here. <laughs> <laughs> and we still don't know why. We talk about that all the time. <laughs> Every time we walk past that we say it. James fell asleep. Peter fell asleep too, but Me and James fell asleep he he had to wake up. <laughs> He's snoozing. And we're going to the booth that made me stop being vegan. This is a new booth this year. Don't think we're getting anything here. This is also a new booth this year. But we're not going to are you getting anything? No. I will eventually get the baked lobster dip. This is our destination. Flavors from fire. And I am getting the corned beef corner route. I was nearing the end of my pregnancy last year and this I got multiple times, even before Peter was totally off the train. Um, so yeah, I credit this to breaking me and I'm gonna get it today. Well, this is cute, I did not that they changed this to Tiana before it was Wally. -E. So stinking cute. So this is somewhere kids can come and play. But the theme, this Tiana theme is so stinking cute. Are those minced mushrooms? Wow. Good portion size. Yeah. It's like literally all my favorite things. Chips, beer cheese, corned beef, pickled onions. And what did you get, sir? I got a Zinfandel, which is not my favorite red, but it's a barrel aged, bourbon barrel aged. Oh! So I thought I'd get it. Take I love... a sip. Let's see what you think. I love bourbon barrel aged. Anything. Yeah. So delicious. This is truly the thing that broke Sarah. It's really good cheese, really good meat. The anti vegan. You just can't like this. No. So it's worth yeah. is all Everyone's the all the negativity. Yeah. Oh, this is like poutine. Almost. But it's funny how like it's all about whoever preps it because we've had a, 
amazingly portions, and we've also had them not amazingly portions. Still delicious, but just mm -hmm. not as good yeah. of an experience. Good portion. That was like probably good portion slash middle ground. Which I was nervous about because the line was long and they were backed up on food. Yeah. So usually when that happens, like the 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 cooks preparing the boats are like more conservative with their their fixings. All right, and our last stop, pie and pudding from Ireland. Plot twist. Alrighty, so Peter did a very Peter thing, and he walked to the bus. He's gonna take a bus to the Riviera. Get the car situated. I'm going to hang out here. I'm kind of waiting to see if the Skyliner will go. Um, doesn't really seem like it's stormy anymore, but who knows why it's down. We assumed weather, but that just may not be the case. Um, so once he says he has made it to the Riviera, I'm going to start walking to the boardwalk, fill up our resort mugs, and then he's going to pick us up from there. That way, James gets to sleep for that much longer. So one subtle benefit of me walking to the front to take a bus to Riviera to get the car to go to the boardwalk to pick up Sarah and James is to see this beautiful park entry and to hear this beautiful music and to see that monorail. The Skyliner is now going. Jamesy is now awake. But hey, at least we made the most of our time. Hey. Where did Airbnb safe? What are we getting for dinner? Sushi. I'm trying to get off this couch and go to public. <laughs> funny thing about this Publix is by our first Florida apartment. We're actually in the same neighborhood as the, uh, the one we spent the two years at before we moved, but I got 20 minutes left in this Publix being open. I gotta go. I love Publix. This is one of the first vegan plant-based sections we would shop in. I miss Publix. There's just nothing like it in Chicago. If I'm being fully honest, I'm not super surprised, but this is where the sushi usually is. But it also is 20 minutes to close. So I'm not surprised there's none left. I gotta call Sarah. This is like a Mission Impossible sushi hunt. Text Sarah, I called her in Publix and said they don't have any. And then so we were bummed and I was like, Little Caesars? I don't know. And then she was like, what if we pick up sushi? Found a place in Old Town Kissimmee that's like 10 miles down the road. And I was like, nothing is close in Florida. But then as I'm like getting in the car, I was like, wait, Bento? There's a newer one in the Margaritaville. Maybe that has it. So Sarah literally is on the phone with them right now, and I just pulled in the parking lot. So we'll see. But what is this Florida ness I just discovered? Live music this Saturday night? What? Peter just got back with all of the sushi. Honestly, I don't even know what I ordered, but it all smells really good. I also know that they gave us like four sets of chopsticks, assuming this is for a lot of people. It's just for us too. I wish you could have some EV. <laughs> and I put Stranger Things on. Lit the fall candle. Getting in the spirit. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.